Blessed be everyone. And I'd just like to take a moment to thank all of the people who have subscribed to my channel and um, helping me grow my channel. Uh, from a YouTube point of view, my channel is still very, very, very young. So it takes a lot to get a YouTube channel up off the ground. So thank you to those of you who are supporting me uh, to do that. Today's video is about shadow work and it's about my experiences with shadow work. I thought I'd share those with you and uh, just talk a little bit about what shadow work actually means for me and what I've got out of it. But before I do that, if you're new to the channel and you're wanting to become Wiccan or you're interested in Wicca, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. So shadow work is, it's really about getting to know yourself. I know that some people see it as being where you're just focusing on your darker aspects of which we all, all humans have and learning how to manage those aspects and not let those aspects take over. But really what you're wanting to do with, with the aspects that aren't socially acceptable or aren't uh, acceptable from a, even from a spiritual point of view is not so much to turn on them and try to oppress them or suppress them or even manage them. It's about integrating these into an understanding of who you really are. The shadow part is a very big part of the ego and the ego is here to keep us safe. That's its whole function. So really what shadow work is about is working with reprogramming the ego because it's been programmed, uh, it was programmed in our childhood and we haven't updated the program since. It's about reprogramming ourselves and learning who we really are and going through all of the shoulds and the shouldn'ts and the shaming and the guilting and all of these things that we've all experienced in the world, uh, wherever we are, due to our culture, due to religion, due to all the influences of culture, and just going through and really understanding where they've come from and how true they may actually be or how false they may actually be. Shadow work is really about questioning everything. So it's, it's questioning everything that we, we, we know questioning everything that we've been told. What it does is it's very liberating and it's very freeing and that's how I've, I've experienced it. So shadow work for me has been about learning about myself and all of the beliefs that I've had even around about spirituality like what spiritual spiritual people are supposed to do to think and how spiritual people are supposed to be and uh, spiritual people this, spiritual people that. I mean, there's so many things spiritual people are supposed to be uh, that it's easy to get caught up in a lot of self-judgment um, and hence judgment of others when you're not fulfilling that role, <laughs> for example. So shadow work for me has been about questioning the beliefs that I grew up with, the beliefs uh, even within my own um, religious paradigm and finding out what is real and what isn't. The questioning helps raise your consciousness. And when you're using modern techniques, which we have now to actually help us reprogram our brain, to change our synaptic connections and to actually release a lot of that stuff from the past and the beliefs from the past, especially the beliefs about ourselves that cause us to sabotage ourselves, the self-doubt, the shame, the guilt, all of those things, particularly self-doubt and shame, the releasing of those actually helps us stand in our power and we can transform the, the excessive aspects uh, that are in the shadow into workable aspects that are actually helpful to ourselves and hence to others. So for example, arrogance becomes more confidence and you can also become more assertive when you're confident. So it's really an alchemical process of transforming uh, from the dark into the light and, and reaching a balance point in the middle. A lot of religions really try to oppress or suppress the shadow because it's seen as being bad. And so, you know, you shouldn't, you should never be greedy. You should never be selfish. You should never be these things. And so what do they do? They teach you not to be those things. So that means that 50% of your personality, 50% of who you are, that the part of you that helps you stand in your power, stand in your truth, the part of you that can help you defend yourself 
is really weakened by that attitude because you're not changing anything by trying to be do the opposite. You're just pretending that isn't there. It gets locked away. It's like a beach ball. It gets pressed down under the water and then you have a confrontation with somebody or something says something to you and then bang, out the beach ball jumps out and so does your shadow, <laughs> which is not really a very um, positive thing. So what I've learned from the shadow is that the more work that I've done on looking at my beliefs, working on uh, releasing some of the beliefs that were really hindering me and causing me a lot of pain, uh, releasing them has really liberated me and allowed me to be able to say things I wouldn't normally say, to do things I wouldn't normally do, and to create my life the way that I want to create it. So. If I hadn't done the shadow work, I wouldn't be here talking to you um, on this video, for example. I would never have come out of the broom closet about being a witch. Um, I would never have, have done that because I would have been too afraid of persecution, for example. And even the, the whole idea of the work that I do and um, being spiritual work and having you know people criticizing aspects of it or the way that I do it or my ideas or my philosophy or all of those things is something that in the past would have scared me. It would have made me afraid because I, I would have started doubting myself. Even though it's been hard, it, it can get really challenging shadow work. Like you've really got to face beliefs that are so ingrained in the subconscious mind that to challenge them is really, really frightening and really scary because it, go, it might go up against a mainstream belief. It might go up a against a religious belief. It can go up against, you know, what spiritual people are supposed to do and what spiritual people are supposed to be like and all of these things that we've been told from copious amounts of religions and spiritualities out there, including Wicca, <laughs> including traditional Wicca. And you're putting them all up there and going, okay, what's real and what isn't? And it can be very, very confrontational. It's worth it though. It's worth the trip. <laughs> it's like you're going down into the sewer, you know, and you, you're coming across all of this shit and you've got to um, wade through it and um, come out the, the other end. So it's not the most pleasant journey to go on. The end result is that you don't get your buttons pushed so much. You can see things more from a bigger picture. You can stand back more. You can become more uh, detached in the sense that you don't get caught up in the hype of what's going on in the world. You can stand back more and just look at what needs to be done. You can be more objective about things and you don't care so much when people judge you or criticize you or come up, you come up against them. It's not such a big deal because you've got more self-acceptance and more self-love. You've got more self-esteem. And you get to the point also where you can actually laugh at it because it's actually quite hilarious, the things that some people say and some people do and the way some people troll. <laughs> and, you know, it's like you just see the craziness in the world and you just think, wow, I'm so glad I'm not that person. It must be really, really horrible to be that person because they must be going through hell, thinking and behaving and being like that. My journey through shadow work has been that it's not about trying to change myself. It's about trying to realign with who I really am. It's not about becoming a better person, not about becoming a spiritual person because essentially we're all spiritual beings having a human experience anyway so how do you not be a spiritual person in that context but it's waking up to the fact of what spiritual might actually really mean and a lot of it isn't what we've been told and it's much more liberating <laughs> than what we've been told another thing that i found with shadow work which was the hardest part to push through was the fear of if I'm no longer this person who is struggling uh, with fear, with self-doubt, who will I be? With that, seeing or having a sense of the inner power of that. And that's what scared me the most was the power 
um, Marianne Williamson said something to the effect that um, what scares us the most isn't um, uh, it isn't so much uh, that we're afraid of failing or anything like that. It's it's the it's that we're afraid that we are more powerful uh, than we've ever imagined, and we are. Each and every person has so much power um, inside them, but we've been conditioned to suppress that inner power. I think it's deliberate because it's such a strong, it's, it's so strongly suppressed in us. When you get a sense of what that inner power is, it's really frightening. It really is because there's shame associated with it. It's, there really is. There's shame associated with standing in one's power. And when you come to the point where you see, where you can see that, the fear sets in, the ego jumps in and shuts it down because it says it's not safe to be in your power. Because if you're standing in your power, you're gonna get persecuted, you're going to get, people are gonna judge you, people may even kill you. <laughs> it can get to that level of fear with, with people. And that's why when people are doing self-development work or spiritual work, they'll get to a point uh, where they will go, well, who will I be if I'm not who I've been all my whole life and not feeling these negative emotions? You start to sense the inner power of that and it terrifies the hell out of you and that's where a lot of people give up the shadow work give up the inner work and give up the self-development work it's an ongoing process too it's something that I'm always working on there's so much there that needs to be changed and released that it's it's like an ongoing thing it's like peeling an onion or an artichoke there's always other layers and um, underneath what you've peeled off it is about knowing who we are, knowing why we're here, creating the life that we want to create and living the life that we want to live. Uh, we are creative beings and the shadow work helps us become more creative in a way that is more positive and more functional for us. And when it's functional and positive for us, it all carries out to everybody else as well. So shadow work for me isn't just limited to trying to manage or suppress um, dark aspects of the self it is about revealing who and who we really are it's so worth it that it is probably one of the most important things you could you could probably ever do with your life and it's it's probably one of the most important aspects of spiritual practice as well rather than seeing things always being external and always happening to us we start to see how we're affecting um, the world through thoughts, beliefs and behaviours. I do do a lot of work uh, with people with shadow work. So if you are interested in, in looking at those parts of yourself that are holding you back, keeping you down and you're really ready to move forward with it and integrate your self work with your spiritual work, then I do offer a free 30 minute clarity session to help you get clear about at least one thing that's holding you back. And if you want to actually do some work with me from then on, then we can discuss it during the session. Otherwise, um, you just go away with knowing, knowing some more of your stuff that you might that you can work on in the in um, the future. So I'll put the link to my calendar in the description field below this video. I also have a book called Tapping Into Abundance, Using EFT and Law of Attraction to Change Your Mindset and Turn Your Life Around. And whilst that is directed at the Law of Attraction kind of crowd, because that's kind of where I wrote it about four or five years ago, and um, it's quite pertinent to shadow work because it is essentially starting the shadow work process, using emotional freedom technique or tapping as the modality uh, to help release some of those beliefs uh, that are keeping you back. So that link is in the description field below this video too. So if you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Blessed be. Mm -hmm.